The Grace of a Gentlewoman, a glimpse into the portrait of Elizabeth Grey Otis by John Singleton Copley. John Singleton Copley was one of the most prominent painters of the 18th century, known for his realistic and refined portraits of the American colonial elite. He was also a master of the Rococo style, which favored delicate colors, graceful curves, and playful details. Among his works is the portrait of Elizabeth Gray Otis, Mrs. Samuel Aline Otis, a painting that showcases his skill in capturing the beauty and the personality of his subjects. Painted circa 1764, this exquisite piece portrays Mrs. Otis, the wife of a wealthy merchant and politician, in a setting that reflects her status and taste. She is adorned in a fashionable attire, consisting of an olive green dress and a spruce blue shawl, which contrast with her pale complexion and ash blonde hair. She holds a fishing rod over her shoulder, which suggests her interest in leisurely outdoor activities. Mrs. Otis's pose and expression are captivating. She is shown from the waist up through an oval, stone opening, which frames her elegantly. She angles her body slightly to the left, and looks at us with sage green eyes and a slight smile. She has a straight nose, a rounded chin, and a small, pink mouth, which convey a sense of grace and serenity. The painting is rich with other details, such as the lush greenery in the background, which signify her connection to nature and elegance. The fishing rod, the helmet with a topaz blue feather, and the gold hilt of a sword, which sit near her feet, signify her adventurous and noble spirit. The artist's signature and date, which indicate the historical context of the painting, are visible at the lower right corner. The portrait of Elizabeth Grey Otis is a masterpiece of the Rococo style, as it features vibrant colors, graceful curves, and playful details. Copley creates a smooth and soft appearance, especially in the face and hands of Mrs. Otis, by using blended strokes. He also creates a dynamic and balanced composition, by placing Mrs. Otis in the center of the canvas, and by using the light and the clouds to frame the scene. He also adds some details to enhance the mood and the theme, such as the shadow that Mrs. Otis and the fishing rod cast across the opening, and the oval shape that creates a sense of intimacy and focus. The portrait of Elizabeth Grey Otis is a painting that reflects the culture and taste of the 18th century, the era of elegance and refinement, of reason and imagination, of art and nature. It is a painting that portrays the beauty and the personality of Mrs. Otis, as well as the grace and the charm of her style. It is a painting that still captivates and charms the modern viewer, with its exquisite and sophisticated style, its realistic and idealistic subject, and its grace and charm appeal.